Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to another day in the life. I am whispering right now because Andrew and Stella are currently taking a nap. It is 9.45 on Thursday. Stella woke up so early at like 6 a.m. before Andrew had to go to work. He only had to go in for about an hour or two and then when he came back home, Stella was so tired. I just put her down for a nap. I quickly got dressed and I'm about to head out. I need to go get threaded. I also want to stop at Home Goods and Target. So hopefully I could do all of that while she's napping. When they wake up, we do have to go on base. I feel like we're constantly on base in my vlogs recently. We just have a lot of appointments and things to do in regards to our move. So we are there at least a few times a week. I also need to stop by the grocery store later and the exchange. I just want to browse. So today is going to be kind of long. I have a lot of things I need to get done. Also, my Abercrombie order, the rest of my exchange, says it's out for delivery right now. So hopefully those items come in today so that way I could do a try-on haul for you guys and include that in today's video. But I'm going to hurry up, grab my stuff, and head out. I haven't eaten breakfast yet, so maybe we'll grab a coffee and a snack or something. But the threading place place opens up in about 15 minutes so I kind of want to be the first person there so I could go in and out and then I'll bring you guys along with me to Target and Home Goods. so let's go okay so I just pulled up to the threading place and it looks like they're working outside which I totally forgot that they're doing so I'm glad I came early before it got really hot but I'm gonna see if she could take me real quick it's right here I don't know if you guys could see but the chair can you guys see the chair so I'm gonna see I don't know why okay there you go I'm gonna see if she could take me really quick and then we're gonna head over to Target and Home Goods. all right so I guess they're having people wait in their car so she has one more person before me and then I'm next so I'm just gonna be hanging out in here so I figured I'd come back to the car and just chat with you guys so I'm looking for today at Home Goods or Target I need two huge oversized decorative pillows and cream the theme i'm going for in my room is cream blush and light gray tones the comforter or the duvet that i bought from pottery barn which should be here next week is cream i also ordered these stunning bar decorative pillows and like a soft blushy pink i also ordered a throw that's in the same exact color as the lumbar pillows but i need two oversized i guess square cream pillows just to kind of top off the bed i'm so excited i was watching sophia's vlog yesterday or the day before and she found these huge decorative pillows i think at home goods so if i don't have any luck at target home goods is right next door i'm gonna blame her for wanting these huge Huge pillows because they look so comfy and they looked so cute so Sophia I blame you for wanting these huge decorative pillows but honestly though I do need them because like I said I ordered the smaller lumbar pillows and Oh, okay that was weird i ordered these medium-sized lumbar pillows and i just need two huge square ones to go behind them so that's what i'm looking for today i also need like a notepad or um sorry i keep on looking away because people are walking behind my car but i also need a notepad or even like a calendar to keep track of videos collabs sponsorships just things in regards to youtube and instagram because although i use the notepad on my phone often i think it's going to be a lot easier and nicer to keep track of everything on my collaborations and things like that on a piece of paper that i could actually see just more aesthetically pleasing to look at an actual calendar with everything that I have scheduled out versus a plain notepad so I'm looking for a notepad and I feel like there's something else that I need to look for I just can't remember I also need milk from my smoothies because I'm testing out this collagen powder from a really well-known brand that I'm collaborating with so I'm gonna test it out for about two weeks to a month before I make a post or anything like that so stay tuned for that but I heard this collagen powder is really good so I'm really excited to start drinking it and testing it out and just working with this brand so that's super exciting for me and then at home goods I feel like there's something else I needed at home goods but I can't remember this is why a notepad or something will just be easier to carry around with me because in the moment I think of all these ideas but of course my mom brain has been so bad lately that I always say oh I'm gonna remember right I always tell myself this oh I'm gonna remember I don't need to write it down and then when it comes time to remembering it 
I always forget it. So I think this lady is about done and ready to take me. So I guess I'll just see you guys in Target. Okay, I found these, this two pack for $24.99. I don't know, these are really pretty. But I don't know if I want something with texture. I think I should stick with the cream though. I can't decide. These are kind of cute too. Size, but in like that color. So now I think those are too small. Dang, I guess the guy said they had cream the other day, but apparently they're all sold out. So maybe I'll have to come back another day. Please leave your. All right, so I just left Home Goods and I found nothing. I'm sure as you guys seen by the clips before this, I found the sized pillow I need. So the cream ones I found were a 20 by 20, but I think I need a 20, 26 by 26 or larger for the bed. The 20 by 20s were nice, but I think for the vibe that I'm going for, I think they're a little too small. So I just tried calling Andrew, so maybe they're still asleep. It's been about an hour since they've been um, taking a nap. So Target's right here like a few stores down. I'm just gonna head into Target. Maybe they'll have something that I'm looking for. Of course, somebody somebody pulls up right next to me as I'm vlogging. So yeah, wish me luck. Maybe I'll find what I need in Target. Every time I come in here, I look at this and I want it. Now I don't know if I should get it or not. Is it worth $45? <laughs> I think it's so cute. Okay, so I just got a Target and I tried calling Andrew again. He's not answering, so maybe they're sleeping or he doesn't have his phone near him, I'm not sure. But um, I found nothing. Okay, I lied. I actually did find the pillow that would go perfect with my bed, but they had the wrong size. They had an oversized lumbar, which the new blush throw pillows that I ordered are already a lumbar pillow. So I need kind of an oversized square rectangle Actually no yeah square pillow and they didn't have the they didn't have it in stock so I'm gonna go home and check online to see if they have it and order it because it's perfect it's like a cream linen and kind of frayed around the edges it's a solid color but I think it would go perfectly with everything I have going on in my room already but I'm gonna go home check on Andrew and Stella cuz what the heck I don't know why he's not answering I still haven't eaten and it's 11 13 so far my morning is pretty productive I'm actually sad I found Found nothing at home goods and Target because I was feeling very um, what's the word lucky I guess but it's okay sometimes I leave Target with a bunch of stuff and sometimes I leave Target with nothing so it kind of just depends on what I find but I'm gonna head home and see what Andrew and Stella are up to all right I got Andrew and Stella with me so when they weren't answering my phone calls they were sleeping as soon as I walked in the door they must have just woken up so that means they both slept an hour and a half which Stella def definitely needed it and I don't know every Andrew usually says I don't need a nap but then if he lays down with Stella he always falls asleep but he woke up early well we all woke up early but I guess he was tired too but we're about to head on base we're gonna go through the gate right now we just decided to eat at the exchange they have a few different food options they also have a Starbucks so we're gonna eat there and then go do the appointment or like errands we have to do and then go to the commissary and then head back home. I feel like this guy in the truck was like watching me like what is this girl doing? <laughs> He's probably like what are these people doing? But yeah so we're gonna eat, go to the exchange, appointments, and then commissary. What are we cooking for dinner? What do you want for dinner? We haven't decided what we're doing for dinner and it's already noon and I haven't eaten yet but now I'm starting to get hungry. Maybe we could do, ooh, br um, bruschetta sounds good. Andrew makes the best bruschetta. That sounds pretty good. I'd like chicken or something. Mm, delicious. <laughs> I feel like that guy in the truck kept on looking. So we had to get Panda because the cafe was basically out of everything and then the Starbucks here. They don't, I don't know, like the girl wasn't understanding. <laughs> the girl wasn't understanding my order, so I just told her forget it. Um, I don't know if it's like a real, it has to be a real Starbucks here because it has the name on it, but sometimes the Starbucks on the base are not, they're not trained properly, so maybe we'll grab a coffee later or I'll just wait, but I'm gonna eat because I'm starving. Is that good? Thank you. 
because I'm gonna be without my desktop for who knows how long. I mean, I hope our stuff gets to us at least sometime in the beginning of November, but honestly, that's not really likely. So I don't wanna go that long without working and getting videos up and just editing, things like that. So I'm gonna invest in a MacBook Pro. So today we were looking on base and I think I'm gonna get the 2020 13 inch version. They, the reason why I'm getting it on base is because we have scratchers like once or twice a month, and they actually are doing a scratcher this weekend. <laughs> Maybe I'll grab one this weekend, we'll can't this talk. Weekend. Um, But we'll see, but that's definitely what we're gonna do. Also, Andrew, we're gonna get drone footage still too, so Andrew's gonna have like his own profile on the laptop as well, but I'm excited. So cute. Well, we just pulled up to base, it's one o'clock. We need to hurry up, get these errands done, because we have groceries, groceries in the back. We got more than what we thought we were gonna get. And then honestly, we're just gonna go home and relax for the rest of the day. Hopefully my Abercrombie order came in. <laughs> so excited. Okay, so we left base. We were at the hospital for a while. I ended up getting a stupid vaccine. I didn't wanna do it, but the guy pretty much, he didn't force me to get it, but he encouraged me to get it. So I got a vaccine that I needed for my overseas screening and now we're heading home, but we had groceries in the car, so hopefully everything's good. We were in there for what, like 30 minutes? Which isn't that bad. Um, and it's, where we were wasn't super hot, but it is kind of hot like in our area. So we're about to go home. I just checked the tracking. I just checked the tracking and my Abercrombie order still says out for delivery. So hopefully it comes at some point so I could try everything on for you guys and then do like a little try on clothing haul. And I hope the smaller size pants fit me better, but I just started my dot and I'm actually really bloated. So <laughs> if they feel a little snug, I'll try them on again after my dot is over, but I'm super tired. I think for dinner, we're gonna do buffalo cauliflower wings and, or buffalo cauliflower and then what else? Wings, I think. Stella has been loving wings. I don't give her like the bone. I just like peel it and she's been eating it, but I think that's it. We also bought salmon. We bought catfish nuggets. I uploaded a what I eat in a day today. And at the end we did salmon nuggets for dinner. So today we bought catfish nuggets cause those are really good as well. And I want to say that's it. That's it. We really don't have much planned today. Honestly, just relaxing for the rest of the day. It's barely two o'clock though and I'm exhausted. So when I get home, I'm going to make a cold brew, put groceries away. Stella destroyed the living room so I'm gonna pick up the living room a little bit and hopefully by the time I'm done my clothes come in. Stella also was not being good at the hospital. She was driving Andrew a little crazy. Huh Stella? She's back there. Are you happy now? Pen on your face? Yeah she has pen all over her face and her the palms of her hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just seen her arm and she has pen all over her arm. All right, we just got home and my Abercrombie order isn't here yet, but it, ooh, my bra, excuse that. But I wanted to share a couple of things that did come in. So this is the first one. Look how cute this hat is. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is so freaking cute. The current hat I have right now, it's a little floppy and also more of like a camel. This one is a cream. So freaking cute. Also, I'll show you guys these, but these are mom jeans. I'm gonna take my hat off real quick. So these are mom jeans from PacSun. My best friend Megan actually had this exact pair on when we went to the Malibu Cafe a few weekends ago and I absolutely fell in love with them. I took a picture of her tag and ordered them the next day. I'm not even kidding, but they're a medium wash. I believe they're called 
medium indigo, something like that. They're perfectly distressed. They're not tight, but also not super loose. I just love them. Usually with mom jeans, I was having a problem where they were overly loose, where they just looked funny on me. Oh my gosh, I look so frumpy and bloated today, so excuse that. But these actually fit me perfectly. They're nice and snug, but not too snug by the legs. Also, they come in short, so that's a key for me when I buy jeans is that I have to buy the petite version because I just can't wear normal, normal length version of jeans unless I wanna get them hemmed. But even then, the seams are not fit proportion for a petite person, if that makes sense. So I only buy jeans if they come in petite, but I absolutely love these. I highly recommend these mom jeans. Also, PacSun is constantly having jean sales, so I'll go ahead and link these exact ones in the description box below. I'll go ahead and link actually everything that I'm sharing with you guys in the description box below, but you guys, you absolutely need them. Also, I cuff them at the ankle to make them just look extra cute. Okay, next I got this really cute puffer jacket because I'm gonna need a thick puffer jacket. Also, I have my cameraman. I have my cameraman back. He took the dogs outside to go potty, but I love this. I have nothing like it. It's nice and cozy. It's really warm. Also, it has pockets. The hood itself also, you could detach it, which is what I like, because sometimes I don't always want a hood. And it comes with this really cute, I guess, garment bag where you could roll it up and keep it in a bag. But I thought this was so cute, really cozy, and I'm gonna be using it a lot in Japan. I ordered Stella a puffer jacket similar to this, except hers is pink, but I got hers off H&M. So when I do my H&M haul, I'll go ahead and show you guys. But I love it, I thought it was so cute. Oh, I don't want no chips, thank you. I thought it was so cute and like I said, I don't have a thicker jacket to take with me so I'm really excited about this one. It's cute, huh? Do you like it? Let's see the hood. <laughs> We're gonna go snowboarding. The hood, is the hood cute? I haven't even looked. <laughs> oh yeah, the hood. <laughs> the hood is actually kind of cute. So like I said, I love that it detaches. But all right, I'm gonna show you guys the next item. Next, I got this really cute cropped hoodie. This is seriously the softest hoodie I probably own. Everything I bought also is in a size extra, extra small for preference, except I did buy the puffer jacket in an extra small just to give myself a little bit more room, just in case if I wanted to wear long sleeves or anything underneath. But this is pretty, not basic, but this is pretty like a basic piece to have in your closet. Like I said, it has a hood. It's lined really soft. Also, I love the print and I have nothing like it. I also I also ordered Stella a similar zip-up jacket off H&M that should be coming in a haul soon so her and I could be matching but yeah I really wanted a cozy sweater <laughs> Stop. all right I have too many distractions right now and I need an iced coffee but when my next two items come I'll go ahead and try them on and I'll share it with you guys I wanted to get a close-up view of this pullover because I feel like when Andrew was fil filming me I was a little too far but it kind of has like this what is this called? Like a cheetah polka dot print. It's really, really pretty. And then you could tell the lining right here is just so soft. But I also love that it's cropped because sometimes longer sweaters on me make me look frumpy. So I tend to stick with more cropped like shirts, tops, and sweaters because they kind of make my torso look longer. But yeah, I definitely recommend this. It's so cute and it's super cozy. All right, Andrew and Stella are chilling on the couch, but my order, or my exchange actually just came in. So these are the joggers that I got. These are size extra, extra small. They fit a little better because the other ones that I previous, previously got, they were way too baggy and balloon-like here where I felt like they kind of made me look wide. So these ones for sure are a little snug. They're not cotton, so I know they're not gonna shrink, which is good because if they were gonna shrink, I feel like maybe these would be a little too small, but I, I feel like they fit perfectly. Honestly, I feel bloated, so I'm just not in the mood to try anything on right now, but I think they're really cute. I like them. I'm gonna try them on again once I'm done with my dot, but so far I like them. They do make the butt look pretty good. I have nothing like them, so I think that's why I, I'm like not sure how I feel about them, but they are really, really cute. 
I also got this nice linen tie front top. This will look really cute with the mom jeans I have. Jean shorts, black high-waisted pants. I feel like you could dress this up or dress this down. And yeah, it's a good casual. And this one is a really good summer to fall transitional piece. So I absolutely love the top. I'm just now I'm still a little conflicted with the joggers. But like I said, I love them. I just don't know if I'm filling them right now. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below. Should I keep them, return them? What do you guys think? But yeah, that's everything that I got from Abercrombie. That's my little haul. And next week, I'll show you guys everything that I got for Stella from H&M. She got some really cute stuff that I'm really excited to get in. Okay, so I'm making buffalo cauliflower really quick and I'm not gonna show you guys the whole entire process, but I just chopped up a head of cauliflower and rinsed it out. And this is actually super easy. You wanna preheat the oven to 400. I honestly just eyeball it to what I think is right, but what, you, what you're gonna need is some flour, pepper, garlic powder, garlic salt, onion powder, red cayenne, and this buffalo, oops, there we go, and this buffalo ranch seasoning blend. Like I said, I don't do any measurements. I basically just eyeball all of this into the bowl, and then you wanna do a splash of milk. Any milk will be fine, dairy, non-dairy, and then you wanna mix it up until it's a paste, and that's pretty much it. And then you're gonna go ahead and coat the cauliflower put them on the baking sheet, and then you toss them in the buffalo sauce afterwards. You don't bake them with the buffalo sauce. I personally use Frank's Red Hot. I'll show you what kind of consistency this gets after I add all the ingredients, but honestly, buffalo cauliflower is one of the easiest things to make. It's just a little messy. Okay, so this is the consistency you want of the batter. It's not runny, but it's also not super thick. You just want it thick enough to stick to the cauliflower. So that way when you put it on the baking sheet, it's not running off of the cauliflower, if that, if that makes any sense. So yeah, this is super easy. I'm gonna go ahead and coat the cauliflower, bake them for about 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna take them out and toss them in the Frank's Red Hot, and I'll show you how they look when they're done. So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. Okay, Andrew just had the best idea. I just finished with the cauliflower and I ran out of batter and I have maybe a quarter of the cauliflower left, but he is gonna not fry them, but he's gonna basically use a chicken fry batter and bake them or fry them in the air fryer. And we're gonna compare. Well, there's really nothing to compare because I'm making buffalo cauliflower, but in the oven, yeah. But he's he's gonna make um, basically chicken chicken fried cauliflower just without the chicken, if that makes any sense. So I'm actually super excited. We're gonna have a little competition. It's a duo. <laughs> and we'll taste test it with you guys. But like I said, we're doing them two completely different flavors, so it's not. Ooh, sorry, I got a message. We're doing two completely different flavors, so it's not really like a comparison. It's just to see how the cauliflower tastes with a chicken fry. So I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, wow. Stella's been wild today, wild. I need another cold brew. Okay, so here's mine. I baked mine. I didn't know Andrew was gonna put buffalo on his, but here's. Here's his, he added some buffalo on some of them and left some of them plain, but we're about to eat dinner. He's making salmon in the air fryer. We're literally having kind of a random dinner tonight, but we're gonna do the taste test here on the vlog and then we're gonna enjoy our food. So I'm gonna taste Andrew's first and I guess mine actually needs more sauce. Do you wanna toss them? Okay, should I do the buffalo first of yours or just the non-buffalo? First try the non-buffalo just because you could take the, uh, see how the breading came out through the air fryer? Okay, so this is Andrew's. This is what it looks like. There's Andrew's, crispy, crispy. I like it so far. It smells really good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Mmm, 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 mmm. It's actually good. Yeah. 
pretty good. Okay. Now I'm gonna taste one with the buffalo. Andrews. This one's Andrews. Same thing, just with buffalo sauce. You should have went through this one because you've had this one. You should have. Mm -mm. That one's really good. That one's actually really, really, really good. And now we're gonna do mine. So why don't you taste mine? Okay. I don't know. Mine are always just good though. Mm -hmm. Like mine never fail. <laughs> They're both good. Andrews are just obviously with a different batter than what I made. He used, what batter did he use? I think he used, he used this batter. I think I showed you guys this in my what I eat in a day, but that one's really good. I approve. This one's soft. Yeah, well, yeah, now it's soft because it's been sitting out for a while, but these are getting soft now too. I think it's just cauliflower eventually gets soft. It doesn't really hold the crispiness, if that makes sense, but. That's good. That's good. I like them both. It's a tiebreaker. Mm. It's a tiebreaker because they're different. You use a different batter than mine. Right. That's, That's why they're both whole, good. But also cooked in a different way. They were both Oven. winners. We're different. both winners, but. Yes, I still, I still love yours. Oh, say it to the blog. What'd you say? Can I hear? I still love yours. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> say it. <laughs> Yeah, yours is still good. I still love yours. Yeah, you Andrew me? loves mine, so. Yeah, they're both really good. I say it's a tiebreaker. No one won. We both are winners. <laughs> All right, so we're going to eat dinner. I'm really hungry. It's like 5 o'clock, so perfect timing. Thank you for watching our competition. If you guys want to see more of these, we could go ahead and Tell do that. Tell me in the comments. Who do you think which one looked better? They didn't even see mine up close. Okay, this is mine. Yeah, tell us in the comments whose look better. Okay, hold on, that's focusing. Whose look better, mine or Andrew's? Let us know in the mm. comments below. <laughs> mm. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna end today's day in the life here. I really hope you guys enjoyed just hanging out with me and running errands. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, everything in my try on clothing haul will be linked in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in Monday's weekend vlog. Bye.